In this video, I am going to discuss about two dimension 2D array in C programming. The definition is the two dimension array has finite numbers of rows and finite numbers of columns. Finite numbers means the number should be countable like 3, like 3, 4, 5, whatever. And at here, or we can say, or two dimension array has the combination of row and column. So this is the row and this is the column. Add here x is the name of uh, two dimension array and 3 3 3 row 3 column. So add here this is a declaration data type array name and or row size next column size. So this is the way we can uh, initialize the two dimension array. So add here two row and four column. Or we can initialize like this way also. Int a double r or two four and the element insights. Next, I'm going to discuss about this uh, example. So, if you debug code, control comes to main function. Here, after that, coincide. And here, I've taken a uh, integer tab array variable size 3, 5. So, this is row, this is column. So, at here, int ij as a uh, variable, I've taken. So, first is i, next j and uh, a double r so this is i and next for j so hereafter control comes to this point i start from 0 check the condition 0 less than equal to 2 that's true control comes to this point or uh, a double uh, j start from 0 0 less than equal to 4 so that condition also true so at here, a double r, uh, 0, 0 position, 
uh, suppose if I'm going to int a double r first, right? First to a zero and zero. Suppose if this position I'm into I into six. So right here, this is received by this one. Um, I j. So right here, into the value of I j a double r. I and J, so I value zero, J value zero, and or uh, this will or uh, take here after that to increase the value of J, J become zero to one. Now check the condition one less than equal to four. That's true. So this will display into the output screen and this will read into the memory. So add here A double R, or uh, next to and zero and one position. So suppose if I enter 9, now again that increase the value of j, j become 2, check the condition 2 less than equal to uh, 4, that's true, this will display, and uh, suppose uh, this time I enter a double r, 0, 2 position, uh, 7, now again that increase the value of j, j become 3. 3 less than equal to 4, that's 2, i and j, and add here, oh, that will take um, elements into the memory, so add here this term, oh, zero, four position, so j increase by 1, j become 4, 4 less than equal to 4, that's true. So at this position, I enter 0, 4 position, 11. Now increase the value of j, j become 5. Check the condition 5 less than equal to 4, that's not true. So control comes to this position. Hereafter, that uh, go up and increase the value of i. So i become 1. So right here, check the condition, 1 less than equal to 2, that's true. So here after, again that go inside. So this time, uh, 1 and j value. So right here, j start from 0, 0 less than equal to 4. So this will display into the output scheme right here. Uh, this time, i value is now 1, 1 and 0 position, i into 6. Again, the value of j is going to increase by 1, so j become uh, 0 to 1. Check the condition 1 less than equal to 4, so that's true. Again, the, uh, this position 1 and 1 position i into 8. Again, that increase the value of j, j so j become uh, 1 to 2. Check the condition 2 less than equal to 4, that's true. So add here i value is now 1, j value is 2. So 1 to position, I enter 5. Now j value increase by 1, so it become 3, 3 less than equal to 4, that's true. Again, error of So 1, 3 position. I enter 9. So again that increase the value of j, j become uh, 3 to 4. Check the condition for less than equal to 4. Again that uh, read to the elements. So this time 1, 4 position. I enter 5. Now that increase the value of j. So j become 5. Check the condition 5 less than equal to 4. That's not true. That comes to this position out of inner for loop. And here that go and up increase the value of i. So i become 1 to 2. Check the condition 2 less than equal to 2. So that's true. So again uh, j start from 0. Check the condition uh, 0 less than equal to 4. That's true. Again that uh, display into the output screen value of ij and a double r ij. So i value is now uh, 2. So 2 and j value is now 0. So 2 and 0 position enter 9. Again that increase the value of j. So j become 1. So at here 2 and 1 position I enter 6.
again that increase the value of j so j become oh, 2 so 2 to position i into 9 again the value of j gonna increase by 1 so j become 3 to or oh, 2 to 3 so 2 and 3 position i into 6 again the value of j gonna increase by 1 so j become now 3 to 4 so 2 and 4 position i into 8 and now j gonna increase by 1 so j become uh, uh, 4 to 5 check the condition 5 less than equal to 4 that's not true so control comes to out of uh, this inner for loop and now next to uh, that increase the value of i so i become uh, 2 to 3 check the condition at here 3 less than equal to so condition not true so this uh, message print on the output screen Next point is I want to see or I want to display the enter elements. So this uh, message so uh, display into the output screen. So at here or I start from zero again. And at here check the condition zero less than equal to two. That's two again that coincide or j start from zero and or zero less than equal to four. So at here or zero zero position whatever i enter the element that will display so i enter the element to add here or zero zero position six so that will display now again the same process continue j gonna increase by one so zero next one so add here check the condition one less than equal to four so that's true again that will display zero one position element so zero one position element i enter nine so this will display again the value of j gonna increase by 1 so j become uh, 0 1 2 check the condition 2 less than equal to 4 so that's the uh, right condition true so at here this time 0 and 2 position that will display the element so 0 and 2 position i enter 7 again the same process continue 2 become 3 so 2 in case by 1, 2 become 3, 3 less than is equal to 4, so that's true. Again, that will display uh, 0, 3 position element. So 0, 3 position, 0, 1. Here I have done some mistake. Uh, 0, 3 position also. Forget the step. Suppose I went and into the element 2. So right here, that to 0, 3 position, that will display 2. Now they increase the value of j, j become 3 to 4. Check the condition, 4 less than equal to 4, that's true. Now 0, 4 position, I enter the element, 0, 4 position, and 11. So this time, 11. Now j become uh, uh, 5, so that check the condition 5 less than equal to 4 that's not true that out from here again that continue the upper for loop j i gonna increase by 1 so i become uh, 0 to 1 now that uh, check 1 0 position next that check 1 1 position 1 2 position 1 3 position 1 4 position again the value of j become 5 then condition false so uh, uh, i become 2 again so at here let check 2 1 position uh, sorry 2 0 position 2 1 position 2 2 position 2 3 position 2 4 position that display the elements now uh, i gonna increase by 1 so if uh, j become fine so condition false then that out from inner for loop now that go up and increase the value of i so i become 2 to 3 check the condition 3 less than equal to 2 so that's not true control out from upper for loop so this is the way the enter enter the element that display so whatever this element i enter 6 9 7 2 11 6 so that will uh, display according to the index of 2d array so i hope guys you understand the simple example of 2d array so next i will discuss one more example so thanks for watching see you next week